Did you know there are 1,186 towns in the UK? No, nor did I, so I just looked it up. But who cares? You don't want to invest in any old town. You want to invest in the best towns. And we're going to rank the best five for you right now. So how have we picked these top five towns? We've not picked our favourite places. We have based it on a few key criteria. The first of all is how good are the yields? Second, what are the fundamentals like? So things like transport links and employment in the area. And finally, we've also looked at its capital growth potential. We've done all that, we've assessed the UK, and we've picked you the top five. And first in at number five is Doncaster. Doncaster is actually one of the best performing towns in the UK for yield. And it's easy to see why. Employment is really strong in Doncaster. There are so many major employers in the area which means that there's just simply not enough rental stock. Local agents have told us that the market is crazy and when stuff comes onto the market for let, it disappears almost the next day. So why are so many people wanting to rent there and why are so many employers based there? Well, the transport links are fantastic. You've got the motorway networks and you've got direct train links to London. So Doncaster has a lot going for it and that's why it's made number five in our list. Number four on our list is Crewe. We like Crewe so much we built a development of houses there. Wouldn't do that again, but that's not Crewe's fault. Crewe is a wonderful place because it's one of the best connected towns in the UK and it's going to become the best connected town in the UK. Already, it's got great train links and it's just off the M6. And when HS2 comes to town, pretty much every major city in England is going to come within about an hour's reach. As a result of those amazing connections, it's a logistics hub. Lots of local employers have set up there, meaning that rentability is always Always super strong and with the Northwest being one of the top regions in the UK consistently for capital growth at the moment it's looking pretty strong on that front too. Number three on our list is Bolton famous for Vernon K, Peter K, and a few others but not the reason why we've picked Bolton you'll be pleased to know. Bolton is actually the biggest town on this list and it actually claims to be the biggest town in the UK depends on how you measure those numbers but it's here not just because of its size its proximity to Manchester has really benefited Bolton. It's got quick transport links into Manchester, but prices are a lot, lot cheaper. And subsequently, yields are strong as well. Bolton is benefiting from millions and millions of pounds of regeneration schemes, and it's transforming the town centre. So with its proximity to Manchester, which will help it benefit from future capital growth, its strong yields, and its low price point compared to its neighbouring city, it's well worthy of its place on our list. We've still got two more towns to go, but quickly, before we get to that, if you're enjoying this video, you'll love the Property Podcast. There's a new episode every Thursday talking about pretty important subjects, like how long is the property boom going to go on for, and when's a crash coming? And one of our most popular episodes recently was about the best places to invest in the UK, so we'll make sure we link directly to that below this video, and we'll link to where you can go and subscribe to the Property Podcast wherever you like to listen. All right, back to our towns. Right, number two on the list is rugby. Yes, we've moved over to the Midlands now, but rightly so, because rugby is a fundamentals powerhouse. And it's easy to see why when you look at where rugby is on a map. It sits at the junction of the M6 and M1, so its road networks mean that it's super well connected. And it's not just the roads. The rails also are pretty good into rugby. In fact, you can get into London in 50 minutes, which is remarkable when you consider how far away it is. So super fast train links and brilliant road networks has resulted in rugby being a magnet for major employers and more and more seem to be popping up, which means more and more people are moving to the town. Property prices have been rising there already and yields are still pretty good. So when you consider its transport links, its employment levels, its history and popular rental market, it doesn't quite make number one, but it's justified being in the number two spot. So drum roll, what's made it to number one on our list of top five towns to invest in right now? Well, it's Stockport. We've been keen on Stockport for a long time, but there's still plenty of opportunity there because it's benefiting in three different ways. 
Firstly, Stockport itself is having billions of pounds poured into it in terms of regeneration, and that's a lot of money for not that big a place. Secondly, it's extremely close to Manchester Airport, which is also having billions of pounds spent on it and is growing in importance and in terms of passenger numbers all the time. And thirdly, of course, Stockport is a beneficiary of the Manchester success story, which has been really the story of the last five years or so. Manchester has absolutely transformed. That goes for the city centre, which you can reach from Stockport in under 10 minutes by train, but the whole of Greater Manchester has massively benefited in terms of capital growth. That's still going, and the rental market in many parts of Manchester, and specifically in Stockport, is absolutely red hot. So even with some pretty stiff competition, Stockport has made it to number one. Well done, Stockport, and well done you. You're clearly dedicated to property investment. And because you are, make sure you subscribe to the Property Podcast, and of course, while you're here, it's a no-brainer to be subscribing to this channel too. We've got loads more videos like this on the way. If you enjoyed this video, we talk about this kind of thing all the time on the Property Podcast, which is out every Thursday, one of the most popular business podcasts in the UK. Make sure you subscribe. We'll pop a link in the description below.